to Excellent Academy. For today, we'll be looking at integration. Integration is simply the reverse of differentiation. Recall that we said if I'm given y being equal to x to the power n, then from integration, from differentiation, if I differentiate y with respect to x, I will get dy all over the x. And we said the concept of differentiation is simply to multiply by the power. The power here is n, so it becomes n x to the power. We said subtract 1 from the power, so it becomes n minus 1. So this was just a simple concept of differentiation. For integration, if I'm given that dy over dx is equal to x to the power n now, for me to go back to get the value of this y, I'll have to um, integrate. So that's why we said integration is simply the reverse of differentiation. So for this concept now, the first case would be I'll move the x over here such that this now becomes, I'll be left with, if the x comes here, I'll be left with the y. So I'll have that dy is equal to, yes, x per n, so it becomes x per n, and then I have the x. So this becomes the x. So the y is equal to x per n, and then the x. Um, problems of integration are identified when I use the integral symbol. The integral symbol is simply this. This is called the integral symbol. All right, so this is called the integral symbol. If I attach the integral symbol to my left hand side and right hand side of the equation, I have that the integral of dy is equal to, attach integral side to this, becomes the integral of x to the power n, and of course, dx. If you observe the process of differentiation, it was simply to multiply by the power and then subtract 1. That was differentiation. For integration, I will do the exact opposite. So this will now become, uh, if I integrate the y, you get y is equal to, to integrate this, for this now, for differentiation, I multiply by n, I subtract them. So if I'm doing the opposite now, instead of, multi, instead of subtracting 1 here, I will add 1. So it becomes x to the power n, I will now add 1 as opposed to subtraction in differentiation. And then also, as opposed to multiplying by the power, I will divide by the power here, yeah? n plus 1. And of course, add a constant. So this is how um, we do integration. It's as simple as adding 1 to the power and then dividing by what I have here. We'll take very simple examples and we'll see how this works. When it comes to, before then, when it comes to um, integration, there are different methods of doing integration. There is um, the general method, there is by substitution, there is by parts, and etc. We'll take the methods one after the other and work on them together. Let's start with the first method of integration, known as integration via the general method. So the number one there, eh? general method of integration. to evaluate we have to evaluate the integral of um, 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 7 dx right let's say we ask to evaluate this what do you do now notice this when it comes to integration the first thing you look at is this your integral variable this is the x it's called the integral variable. That means I'm integrating this whole function with respect to x. That's what it means. So if I'm to integrate, what do I do? Now, when it comes to integration, and if I'm asked to integrate um, a number of terms such as this, the key concept will be this. Um, I'll use the integral sign for each of the terms. And of course, I'll now attach the x to all of them. Right? So the problem is, take the integral sign for each of the terms. So integral sign with 4x cubed and then the x. This will now give me the integral of 4x cubed and then the x. The sign here is minus, so it becomes minus. Take integral sign to this and the x. It becomes integral of 2x squared dx. 
Next up, plus, so I'm having plus. Take integral sign to 6x and then the x because integral 6x dx plus finally integral 7 dx becomes integral 7 dx. So I have this. The next step is for each of the integrals, you take away the constant. So take the constant term outside the integral sign. If I take constant term outside the integral sign, the constant term here is 4. So take 4 outside integral sign becomes 4. I'm left with integral of x cubed. So integral x cubed, of course, with dx minus my constant term here is 2. So I'll take 2 outside integral sign becomes 2 integral. I'm left with x squared here and then dx. My next term here, my next constant term here is 6. So it becomes plus 6 integral x dx. Then finally I have plus here. Yeah? So plus my constant term here is 7. So it becomes 7 integral dx. So I have this. Alright. So work on this now. This will not be equal to I'm having here as 4. So I'm having 4 here. Yeah? Into to integrate this, you say add 1 to the power and divide by what you have. So I'm having x cubed here. Yeah? Add 1, this becomes plus 1 all over 3 plus 1. I have this. Next up, minus 2. A2 integrate this becomes x squared. Add 1 to this becomes plus 1 all over 2 plus 1. Next up, plus 6. A2, yes, x becomes x. The power here is 1 becomes 1, and 1, 1 plus 1, all over 1 plus 1. Finally, I have plus 7. So, plus 7 into, for this, now I'm having the x, alright? Now, notice that when I integrated the y here, I had y. Similarly, when I integrate the x, I will get x. And of course, we said, after integration, you add plus c. c is your constant of integration. So this becomes plus c. Alright, so I will try as much as possible to simplify this. Working on this, I now have, this becomes 4. So it's now equal to 4 there. Okay, so I have x here into 3 plus 1, that gives you 4. That's x to the power 4 all over 3 plus 1 here gives 4. So all over 4. Next up, minus 2 into x here yeah, to power 2 plus 1 is 3. So x to power 3. So I'm having x to power 3. All over, I'm having 3 there. Yeah? Okay, plus 6. So plus 6 into x to power 1 plus 1, that's 2. That gives you x squared. So I'm having x squared all over 1 plus 1 here is 2. So it becomes all over 2 plus 7x. So I'm having plus 7x plus I have the constant of integration that c. Alright, so simplify this now. This will now be equal to from here now 4 cancels 4. I'm left with x bar 4. So I'm having x bar 4 here. Yeah? Minus 2. Of course, this cannot readily cancel out. It becomes 2 all over 3. So 2 all over 3 times x cubed. So times x cubed. Or you can say 2x cubed over 3. Which one? Uh, better still. Let me write it this way. So 2 over 3 x cubed. Right. Let us this way. So next up, plus from here now, 2 here 1, 2 here 3. It becomes plus 3x squared. It becomes plus 3x squared. Plus, next I have 7x, so 7x plus, finally, c, so I'm having this. So my answer becomes x power 4 minus 2 over 3x cubed plus 3x squared plus 7x plus c. So this is how you do integration using general method. So we'll take a final example on general method of integration. Let's say I'm asked to evaluate this integral. As in my previous example, 
your first tax will be used the integral sign for each of these terms and then the x. So I'll now have this as being integral of this term, the x becomes integral 4 all over 5 x cubed dx, then beside there is minus, so it becomes minus integral of this term, the x becomes integral 2 over 7 x over 5 dx, and then minus again, so minus integral of 11 x dx becomes integral of 11 x dx, finally plus plus integral of 6 dx, having integral of 6 dx, so I have this term. Next up, I will take the constant term outside the integral sign. So take constant term outside the integral sign. This becomes constant term, yes, 4 over 5. So I'm having 4 all over 5 into the integral x cubed dx minus constant term, yes, 2 over 7. So 2 all over 7 integral x over 5 dx minus constant term, yes, 11. So it becomes 11 integral x dx plus constant term, yes, 6. Becomes 6 integral dx. Work on this now. This is now equal to, I'm having 4 all over 5. We said for this case, it's as easy as add 1 to the index. Becomes x cubed plus 1 all over, divide by 5, yeah? x plus 1 minus, this is 2 over 7, 2 over 7 into x power 5. So x power 5 plus 1 all over 5 plus 1 minus, this is 11. So 11 into x, the part here is 1, becomes 1 plus 1 all over 1 plus 1 plus 6. Integral of the x is equal to x and then c, the constant of integration. If I simplify this, it's now equal to, I'm having this as 4 all over 5 into x to power 3 plus 1 is 4. So x to power 4 all over 3 plus 1 here is 4. Next up, minus 2 all over 7 into x to power 5 plus 1 here is 6 all over 6 Okay, minus 11. So minus 11 into x bar 1 plus 1 is 2. So x bar 2 all over 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, finally, plus 6x plus 6x, of course, plus c. So I'm having plus c. So I'm having this here. Simplify this further. This will now be equal to, I'm having 4 times 4 bar x gives you 4 times x bar 4 gives you. 4x to the power 4 all over 5 times 4 is 20 minus uh, 2 times x to 6 gives you 2x to the power 6 all over uh, this gives you 42 okay minus 11 times x to 2 gives you 11x squared all over 2 uh, plus 6x plus c I have this so this is now equal to, um, reduce this to its lowest term. So 4 here, 1, 4 here, 5. So 1 times x power 4 gives you x power 4 all over 5. Minus 2 here, 1, 2 here, 21. 1 times x power 6 gives you x power 6 all over 21. Minus 11x squared all over 2 plus 6x plus c. So this is how we solve problems on general method of integration.